I'm going to show you three shiny altcoins that I'm waiting to buy at an incredibly cheap price that could potentially turn my money 100x to 1000x gains. Is it sounding interested? Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. Drop that like because it helps the algorithm so more people can see the video and I get more views and everything else. Uh, give me a subscribe. Let's do this. I'm going to show you the first shiny coin is Pepe. I am hoping... By the way, not financial advice, do you have research? I'm hoping, before you invest your money, <laughs> I'm hoping for Pepe to come down loads in price so I can buy this up mega cheap and make absolute insane gains. What price am I hoping for Pepe to come down to before I buy huge bags of this? Uh, and obviously, if you've been watching my channel, uh, got in Pepe a long time ago. And now I'm just kind of waiting for a great entry again to sort of, you know, come back in it. Because I do think, I still believe that we will see this go into the tens of billions. Uh, sort of like what Shiba Inu did before. Uh, we've all been waiting for a new type of meme coin since Doge and Shiba. Uh, and this cycle, I think we're going to see two new gems. Two new meme uh, gems. Peppy being one of them. I don't know what the next one is yet. Maybe it's something something to come, but I know it won't be another type of Peppy. I believe Peppy is going to be the one that dominates, goes up, and I think another new gem. Actually, it could be Nyan Cat, right? That's what I'm thinking. It could be Nyan Cat, but you check that out in your own time. Uh, so Peppy right now is three zeros and a seven. I would really like to see this shed down to maybe three. Uh, sorry, I said three zeros, six zeros and a seven i'd like to see the shed off at least actually i don't know maybe see it come i'm trying to be realistic maybe see it come down to zero six zeros and a two which will put uh, peppy's price right back here right before you know because I'm, I'm not saying like oh right back here when it first started i gotta be realistic i don't know is this realistic where are we hovering right now we're down here does this match the support levels here yeah so it looks like it's holding support right back from uh may of 2023 i would like to see it shed some more uh more numbers digits and come right down to the twos uh six zeros and a two maybe six zeros i mean six zeros two dead on would be perfect buy entry for me because that would be massive multiple x gains uh and i'll show you what kind of the or even two two you know six zeros two two something between like 2122 two, two. that would be an incredible buy for me and that's what i'm waiting for hopefully it gets there what do you think do you think it can do that drop your comments down below what prices are you waiting for i have you already bought peppy you know you let me know i mean now's a good time to maybe dollar cost average and you know, put a tiny bit but to put huge amounts of money this is the prices that i'm looking for to really shed down and come right down here um let's just work this out real quick so i'm thinking you know uh, it's what is it so peppy's price right now is six zeros uh six zeros uh seven four if we divide this by i don't know what 3.3 what does that put it at uh it didn't do it uh, it says 2.24 so let me try again hold on uh zero point i should have done this before <laughs> before i put it on for you uh, uh divide it hold on uh, seven four divided by let me see if i can if i divide it by three what comes up divided by three uh Oh, it says the same thing, 0.24. I said the price of 0.22. I thought it would have come up like that. I thought it would have like, you know, like when you do like point, maybe it's because it's too many zeros. Uh, six, seven, sorry, six, seven. You, you know, if you divide this by two, it should just say the same zeros. See, that's weird, right? It did it that time. So half of that is 0.3. I need it to come more than that. So let me just try this again one more time. 0 0.000000074. 000 000 000 000 uh, Divide that by three. Maybe it's because I was doing this whole three dot three. Nah, it comes up like that. So I think I'm right. I think it'd be about two four. So six zeros two four. That might be an okay price. I think something like that is what I'm looking for before I buy anyway. Uh, what would it do to the market cap then? Because, you know, you've got the market cap here. If we divide the market cap by three, I'm, I'm basically saying, uh, you know, take a three X off. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, do this. Divide it by three. The market cap would be about 103 million market cap. Maybe just under 100 million. Maybe like 96, 97 million would be a good buy for me. And then that will sort of tell me, you know, what this would be here. About 2, 2, 2, 3. Anyway, that was my first one that I'm waiting for. Uh, I don't know. Do you think I'm being over-realistic? Over, over unrealistic? Unrealistic. Like, do you not think it's ever going to go that low? Tell me what you think. Real, real quick, look. This is what I'm looking at. This is the charts of Pepe, right? 
see the support levels here. This is where it's held support. I said this in my last video. If you you know if you just watched it or whenever you watched it, uh, you know, and it looks like it could be coming up. I'm hoping that this yellow line, it, you know, it gets rejected off this yellow line and comes down more because it's still overextended. It's up so much. And when you look at these uh, thingies here. Uh, let me just grab it this here the rsi there's still room for it to come right down into the oversold so it hasn't been massively oversold on this 1d the daily time frame yet so um we'll see what happens with that as time goes on the next one that i'm hoping to get mega cheap i'm waiting for this price which one is it arbitrum i am hoping for arbitrum make sure i'm recording to come right down at least below 30 pence anything from a 25 pence to a 30 sorry not 35 25 25 pence to 30 pence is it possible i don't know well if we divide this by if we take 0.079 point zero uh sorry hold on done it wrong because uh, i did the point as well we got it point seven five. there you go no, seven nine divided by hmm, three again what does it put it if you divide it by three puts it at 26 pence so i'm saying shed 3x off the price what would it do to the market cap then what 250 million market cap something like that or maybe 300 million 330 million let's have a quick look see so this is the market cap right now one billion divided by three a 338 million market cap that seems more reasonable for me more doable if it can go down there this had so much uh you know it had so much airdrops so many people participating in the whole arbitrum uh chain thing and the events of it happening look at it because the fully diluted it still puts out an 8 billion market cap which means when all these tokens are circulated fully you know fully circulating it's sitting on a 7 to 8 billion market cap it's, it's super high uh and you know if you want to make crazy x gains you know anything from 100x to 1000x you need to find projects that are going to be lower in cap lower fully diluted you know if this was sitting about a 2 billion maybe then maybe you might get i don't know because for, for 2 billion market cap to 100x it's got to go to 200 billion so even then that's still high so um 25 pence could be good 26 pence that would be the time for me to start buying some of this uh, token arbitrum 26 pence shall i grab up the arbitrum uh, uh charts and have a quick look ARB, let's have a quick look. Arbitrum on Binance. So let's have a quick look what's going on over here. Uh, so I can see the RSI again, still room for the RSI to come down into this oversold. It's not really been oversold since it came out. Uh, it hasn't really been overbought either. But then I suppose people weren't really buying it. They were getting free airdrops, right? Uh, but look at this. Look at the chart. It's below this 20 day moving average. St there's plenty of room for it to come up. You know, and then see rejection. I don't know. Maybe it, maybe this is the bottom. I don't know. Let me just switch it to the... I don't even know if the weekly time frame is going to show anything. Weekly time frame ain't showing much. So I'm just going to, you know, just have to go with what I see here right now. Uh, I don't know. Can I draw a um, Fibonacci on this? Let's have a quick look. So if we go from... Uh, you usually go from the highest to lowest. Usually. Uh, oh, can you do it from here to here? Let me just do it from here. The past to where we are now. I don't know if that's going to do anything. Uh, hmm, no, nah, not really sharing much. You usually go. I'm sure when you draw a fib, you, you go from, from, from its last. I don't know. Can you do it from here to here? Well, let me just see again. Let me just see what it looks like again. From here, down to here. Hmm. It does. It does show some support levels and rejections. You can see here that we're getting rejected off this 0.702. Come down. We're holding support off this red line. We're a bit, you know, holding support on this green line. Shot up. Held support on this green line on the 0.1 fib. See, fell down. So it does show some support levels. Uh, so you know, we'll see what happens. I mean, if prices do go up and it comes up testing this yellow line again, which is the 20-day moving average, I'd expect that it starts to hold onto this uh, this this fib level here, which is about uh one dollar eight cents but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens uh we'll see it all depends on the market conditions as well so i'm hoping that this market's you know it, 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 as, as sad as it sounds because <laughs> you know people be losing money when it goes down when all the market falls uh, i'm still hoping for it to just keep bleeding so i can really get these prices cheap that's what you want in order for you to make crazy gains you have to buy them at still prices where people are just fed up they don't want to touch it anymore that's when you buy it and that's what I'm hoping for. So we'll see what happens with this. Uh, my third shiny gem that I'm waiting for a steal of a buy price. Which one am I talking about? Sui. Sui. I said Sui. Is it Sui? Sui. Sui. So um, I haven't explained what these projects do. You can, you know, search them in your own time. I've done videos on them. Uh, Sui right now, 49 pence. This isn't far off from where I was hoping for. I was saying 30 pence. 
But I think I might drop it down to 25 pence as well. I'd like to be able to buy this at a 25 pence price. Half the price. Essentially half the price. Almost. Uh, so 0.49. Uh, so, you know, I'm saying take half off. Uh, divide it by two. Yeah, shift half the price, 24 and a half pence. That could be a good buy. And then the market cap would be about 120 something, 27 million. Let me just quickly check it with you. Real, you know, just check it real quick. Uh, let's do this. Bomb divided by two. Market cap will be 129 million market cap. That could be a good one. Because a 10X puts it at a 1.2 billion. Then a 100X puts it at a 12 billion market cap. That is, that would be a steal of a buy. That's a nice 100x, 12 billion, 12, 24, 36, 48, 50, a 50 billion market cap for Sui would be a 500x, something like that. And the reasons I'm saying these projects is because these are like sort of, you know, giving us the latest technology, got like a supreme team behind it. Uh, the people that are behind Sui, I'm sure were the people that were looking to build Facebook's DM and Facebook's, uh, what's the other coin? They were dropping two coins. Uh, first, it was called DM. Then he changed it to something else. I can't remember what it was, but they're the team behind it. So they've got knowledge and they know what they're trying to do. Uh, and this could be heavily adopted in the future, Sui. So um, I'm keeping my eye on this project. I think it has huge potential, but I want to wait for lower prices before I get in. Because again, the fully diluted right now, should all tokens be released over the next year or two, uh, it'd be a 5 billion market cap. There's just not much room for me to make 100x gains. I mean, it's good for 5x, 10x, if that's what you're looking for, go for it now. But uh, if you're waiting, if you want those big gains, I'd say wait. But that's my personal opinion. I might be wrong. It might start to shoot up in price now. Maybe we're looking at the cheapest prices. Let's grab up the chart and have a quick look and see. I don't know. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think now's the time to be buying Sui or should I be, uh, should I be waiting? This is the daily time frame. Now, this is interesting because according to this daily time frame, uh, it shows, you know, oversold. Oh, sorry, over, yeah, oversold. Look, it's been oversold. Look, people are selling it too much. And then when you look down here, the stochastic RSI over too much selling pressure. And it actually looks like on this stochastic RSI that's starting to peak back up. It's starting to curl back up. Look, so it's usually when it comes above this, you know, dotted line here and comes back into this blue zone is when the game is on. That's when people are going to start buying like crazy. But the question is, do you wait for it to get there or do you start buying while it's down here oversold? Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it just won't get there. Maybe now could be a good time to DCA and buy some Sui. So um, I don't know. Patrons, you're seeing this video first. If you see a buy alert, you know why. Because I, as much as I really want it to go down to 25, maybe now could still be a good buy. Let me just do this. Let me just keep it real to myself. Because uh, I'm, you know, can it still 100x from the here? Let me just quick, keep it real. It would put Sui, I'm guessing, at 25 billion. Go like this, times it by 100. Uh, Sui would be a 25 billion, almost a 26 billion market cap if it 100x is from now. So taking something like, for those that can afford it, 10,000 pounds and doing 100x on that, you turn your 10,000 pound investment into 1 million pounds. You become a millionaire if you buy at these prices and it reaches a 26 billion market cap. What do you think? Whereas, you know, if it falls to prices that I think, then you only have to invest £5,000 for it to go to the same market cap and make a million, <clears throat> you know, cheaper investments. So it all depends on what you can afford, what you believe it can hit and things like that. But I think, you know, 25, 26 billion is not hard for Sui to reach in the future. Uh, again, you know, do your further research on this. If you want to see more videos on this, uh, you can check my channel, actually. I've done a video on channel, uh, on channel, <laughs> on Sui. Just type Sui in my channel and then you see it right here. Look, Sui coin review. This is a powerful one. Check it and you'll understand everything that I think about Sui and why I believe it can 100x. Guys, those are my top three coins that I'm waiting for. Still buys. Still prices. Uh, drop your comments down below. Which coins are you waiting for to get a still buy on? And uh, maybe I'll check them out. Maybe I might join you on that. <laughs> if you liked it, drop that like. Give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Become a patron because they will see this video first, which essentially gives them the opportunity 
to buy these coins at these times. I mean, like I said, I just showed you that SUI chart. That looks extremely oversold. Maybe that could be a good buy. They're probably buying right now at the time of watching this video because they agree with me it's a good buy right now. And I haven't even uploaded on YouTube yet. Maybe prices are starting to go up. I don't know. But this is why you become a patron so you do not miss these opportunities. Seven tiers, take your pick. I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier, this one here. It unlocks all my posts. So you can see when I'm buying, when I'm selling, when I'm staking, the lot. All my posts unlock for you. If you want to do what other people are doing, they're going for my next tier above. My CEO tier. It gives you access to my VIP Telegram group and in there, millionaires are talking. That's all I'm saying. Big money in that space is sharing projects and they know how to make money because they've done it before and they're going to keep doing it, make more multiple millions. If you don't want to miss out and hear their, you know, their edge on this market, how to make serious money, <laughs> come check it out. That's all I'm saying. Guys, thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Cheers.